All right. Hello. Welcome back to the Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on a solo Hazard 5 mission with Scout here, taking the Drac 25 Plasma Carbine with the rewiring mod Balanced Overclock. And I'm going to be taking, for the secondary, the Zukov Nukies, and with its voted on unstable overclock, the Embedded Detonators. Before I get into how I have the guns built, YouTube is recommending my content to you. If you just found my channel, you know, just sitting there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> like the content I make. Maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. Help the channel grow. And I'd like to have you guys along for the ride. All right. So, like I said, I have the Plasma Carbine here today. How I have it built is I have a faster rate of fire, more da total damage, hot feet movement speed. So basically when I overheat the gun, it'll give me a short boost of momentum. I have armor breaking. And the thermal feedback loop, essentially, once I hit 50% heat mark, it'll start to cause the bullets to do some extra. It'll give me both a faster rate of fire and to do uh, some extra damage. That's what it says, right? Pumping excess heat, faster rate of fire when the weapon's pressed. I guess it's just faster rate of fire. So like I said, for the overclock today, I have the rewiring mod. Essentially, how rewiring mod works is after you overheat the gun upon cooldown you will be receiving some ammo back i did the math all in another video right over here when you take both um the fifth gear modification manual heat dump with it and without it and essentially in that other video i was taking manual heat dump and i was losing out on ammo so in this one i'm going to be trying to not lose ammo by taking thermal feedback loop and seeing how much better it is with this one so that's that's why i'm doing this today then for the secondary, like I said, I have the new keys here. How I have them built is I have more total ammo, more magazine, more mag magazine size, uh, better accuracy, more ammo, and get in, get out. Essentially, once I run out, uh, once I shoot my entire clip out, it'll give me a short boost of momentum to, to you know, get in and get out. <laughs> then for the unstable overclock, like I said, it's embedded detonators. Essentially, how embedded detonators work is at each bullet that you shoot on the inside of the bug, not on the armor, but on the inside of the bug, will get converted into a small explosive that, when upon reload, will trigger an explosion that will cause a lot of damage. Now, the damage can range between however much uh, bullets you've put into the bug, and you can potentially one-shot a lot of things. The way you know that you're able to kill things in one go with the embedded detonators, there'll be a little mark right next to the name, indicating that you're able to reload and the bug will die. So like Praetorians, Oppressors, Wardens, Menaces, just a lot of the big boys. On the downsides, you have significantly less ammo, significantly less direct damage, and you have a decrease in magazine capacity. But that's okay. The whole point of these is to be able to, you know, put as many micro explosives inside the bug as possible, so that way you can get the most damage out of it. For my grenades today, I'm taking the IFGs. My flare gun, always built the same, more duration, more magazine size, same with grappling hook, more reach, faster projectile speed, and momentum. Basically, when I'm done using the grappling hook, I get a short boost of momentum. Wow, I, I basically took all momentum today. <laughs> then, for Bosco today, all I have them built is more revised crowd grenades and faster regeneration now. <laughs> Uh, electric bullets. Alrighty. And I already have the mission selected because I knew this this intro is going to take forever. <laughs> Double XP with a leaf threat. How could you say no to that type of mission? Alrighty. Oh yeah, by the way, happy Mother's Day, y'all. I'm recording this on Mother's Day. <laughs> Hope y'all have a wonderful time with thine mothers. So, we've been getting a lot of new teasers for Season 4. <laughs> Some really really cool ones now we've gotten another bug we got the name of the the glyphid sting tail so that's cool and then we got a really really cool teaser showing the theme it seems like my like my my suspicions were kind of correct about the fact that it's just gonna be like what they did last time with robot uh, the robots which is the first season is gonna be introducing them and then the next season's going to be excelling it, like continuing that that season, sort of. So, that's that's really cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go beat the hell 
No, it's not being part of this yet. So yeah, no, that's that's pretty uh cool that we're gonna be getting more uh of this the plague and just new bugs. You Oh, there's a meteor. Pieces of it. Oh god. <laughs> ah! Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> no, don't get hit, Steve. Good boy. Yeah. I can't wait for more cosmetics and more. Just, just more. I, I want new stuff. <laughs> they also teased like this kind of hover boots gadget a little bit, which that's pretty cool too. Adds a little bit more mobility for the other dwarves. So. That's awesome. I just, um, I hope they add another way of earning play carts as well. Maybe the Glyphid Stingtail drops some play carts. Oh, now there's a real meteor. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Dreadnought cut. I gotta do this while the Dreadnought's coming. Uh, uh, I gotta run. <laughs> Running time. Steve, you're back here fighting, fighting a <laughs> Praetorian. Um, how do I get to, oh god, the Glyphid Dreadnought. How do I get back to the starting room? Is it over here? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm dumb. Pet, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah, here he comes. He's coping. <laughs> Question mark. Oh my god, you're so fat. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. I can make this work before I get a resupply. <laughs> Come up here, you son of a bitch. Come on. Yeah, 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 you're mad. Thank you, Molly. What? Here, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> nice. First one down. Oh, what? Carl would be proud. Okay. I thought you said we got it, Carl. I was like, what? <laughs> You're a little bit high right now, Scout. Oh, um, I was petting him with kindness. My pickaxe. There you go. Ah! Uh, hive guard. I don't want to see you either. How much does this do against it? Not sure. Oh. I brought oh, armor breaking with this, but I kind of regret doing that. I kind of wish I had the faster cooldown speed now. So I could be shooting this a lot faster. See, I don't think um, embedded debts work on these. These work. They do. Oh, I saw that Praetorian. That's an elite one too. God, you're so fast. Yeah. Stand still. Here. Slow down. Go. You're so fast. <laughs> go. Where'd you go? Yeah, I have a flare gun. <laughs> Hello. Go. Ah. 
One, two, uh, three. No, three. No, I wanted to bonk you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. The bigger they are, the more ammo they take. Troop. And then the final one. And the meteor. I still gotta do the meteor. Uh, I am gonna do the meteor. <laughs> what? It's a big ass cave. <laughs> I keep, every time I say the word ass, I keep thinking of our friend, um, uh, my friend Russell's welcoming mat. It says, I hope you like big ass snakes. But every time me and Logan go over there, we always cover up the, the snake part. It's just, I hope you like big ass. Twins? Nope. All right. <laughs> oh, my beard. It's me. <laughs> uh, the faster cooling rate. There you go. <laughs> nice. We need the rest of the nuts. And oh boy, there's a lot of humanite over there. Oh god, where is it? Oh god! Woo! Let me go! You did a full 360. What the f are you? Where am I going? Tell it to let me go. Oh god. Oh. Where are you? It's a horror game now. <laughs> This is a horror game. Anyways, before that happened. <laughs> Steve, now's not the time for pets. <laughs> Need to connect this thing. Oh, cool. There you go. Nice. That other one's gonna get wrecked so fast. Yep, all the bugs are going over there right now. That's a scary sound. There it is! God, I hate it so much. Ah, you're taking me so far. Bro! Bro! Yeah, yeah, shut the f up, Mission Control! I tried! In all honesty, it, even though uh, it does feel like I'm wasting ammo sometimes, I do prefer this gear mod over the, the manual heat dump, I will say. Alright, ugh! Woo! Oh, it's a normal one, okay. Woo! Oh, hey, oppressor. <laughs> Is there another one? Oh, okay. It's a real one. Oh, it's a normal one, not a real one. <laughs> yeah, it's real, obviously. It's right there in front of me. Ah, my mind is just so gone. I'm just like so afraid of those the, the elite Nectar grabbers. Alright, cool. Oh god. Ah! Whee! Run! <laughs> Rocket stud. And my final score. Okay. I leveled up twice. <laughs> nice. One, two, three. Ayo. <laughs> what the hell? Ayo. Nice. Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Good job. <laughs> All right. This was a really fun build. Uh, I do actually enjoy using the uh, thermal feedback loop rather than the manual heat dump for a rewired mod. But I will say that the hot feet wasn't honestly really necessary that much. <laughs> Plus I had momentum with both the Zukovs and the grappling hook. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the one thing I would, I would definitely change, oh, well, two things actually, I would definitely change it to gen two cooling system in tier three, which is the second gear modification. And I would probably switched over back over to electricity the, the first gear mod for tier four, just because I think electricity would have worked way better for the, the carbine with rewiring mod rather than armor breaking. I just took it though, just to try it out, see uh, if I could do like a full damage build kind of for the, the dreadnoughts. And then the Zukov Nukies with the meta detonators. This this is really, really fun. Like <laughs> I, I, I honestly really love kind of using embedded detonators every now and then. It's just a nice, kind of satisfying overclock to go back to mainly on uh dreadnoughts but it, it is also kind of 
a nice replacement to jumbo shells even though you you're only going to be using it on the the big boys like praetorians and oppressors if you're going to do that then you're going to have to get another crowd clearing uh, gun <laughs> to deal with the hordes but either way though i had a really fun time with the embedded detonators today anyways though thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate anyone who stuck around to the end i hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one rock and stone miners Thank you.